Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you how to build this flower and seed generator. Now this is really efficient and it gets the most out of your bone meal. Uh, this design I came up with myself. Uh, this is like the first time I've ever played with the new stuff in 1.7 and I thought it would be a good idea to create um, a flower slash seed generator because they added a lot more flowers now which is really cool it's going to be able to make your houses look a whole lot better uh, this bud switch here I'd just like to give credit to someone I'm not sure who the original creator is but I'm just going to link the video to this bud switch which which we're going to be adding into this build today um, it's really good because it's extremely small so um, whoever made it uh, big thanks to them and I'll link the video which I found which had it in it but anyway uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to build this but before we even do that uh, I actually need to show it to you wow what the hell I can't remember the layout of these videos because I haven't been doing it in ages <laughs> alright shut up crayfish so all you have to simply do is uh, right click on this back block here on the furthest right or the furthest left just so you don't hit the selection box of the tall grass or flowers. Simply just go like that. And uh, as you can see we've got our flowers and our seeds so I'm going to be teaching you how to build this today. So what you are going to need is 32 redstone dust, 1 redstone torch, 2 redstone repeaters, 1 piston, 10 sticky pistons, 1 block of redstone, 9 grass blocks and 64 block of your choice. The first thing that we are going to do is build a bud switch and this detects when uh, you place the bone meal onto the grass so we can simply just dig a hole here pop redstone down into it, on this block before it, place a uh, piston facing in towards the redstone there. Next we want to skip this block here, then dig out that one, place a redstone torch on this back side, and then you want to get your piston, your normal piston, place it on top of the redstone torch and make it face towards this one here. Then simply get your block of redstone and place it in between the two pistons like that and then this one here should retract. Now behind this sticky piston what we want to do is dig out three blocks behind it so one, two, three. Now we're going to repeat this process but we're going to do it to the right three times so one, two, three, one, two, three and the last one, one, two, three. Now do this to the left side as well, three times, so... And you should end up with a 3 by 7 rectangle. Now what we need to do is actually dig this two layers deeper. So dig this two down, two layers deeper. Now once you've dug it down two more layers, what you want to do is get in line with this piston here. Then you want to place three sticky pistons in this middle column here, uh, facing upwards. So one, two, three. Then on top of them, place three, three grass blocks. Now come back down into the hole, and what we want to do is uh, dig out these two blocks here, which are next to the grass and the piston. Do that one more time to the right. Now dig the ones behind here then go two more ahead like that. Then we're going to get our redstone and what we're going to do is we're going to place it um, on this left side here um, next to that middle one, come out one more this way, this way, then on this side we're going to place one on the last one and one on the first one there, then redstone here and then going like that. Now from this block here which the redstone is going into to the one over there, dig that out and then fill that in with redstone. Now what you want to do is fill this whole entire hole up with the dirt that you dug it out with. Now make sure you get every single air block um, in this hole. Now don't destroy any of the redstone either.
Now don't fill it in completely, just make sure you leave this one layer dug out. What we're going to do next is get our sticky pistons and at the ends of the rectangle here we're going to place sticky pistons facing towards us and then do it the same on the other side. Now get your redstone repeater and on either side of the redstone block facing away from it place a uh, redstone repeater and it might uh, flicker once like that but that doesn't matter. Then extend your redstone till you get um, in line or one after the pistons there then bring it down this way and then they should extend. Do that the same to the other side. Then place your grass blocks in front of the pistons like that. Now we need to power those ones that we uh, put down under there so we can simply do that by um, af after this first redstone here dig this block behind it then dig the one to the left then dig one down and then dig the block um, that the redstone repeater is on un the block under the block that the redstone repeater is on and then you should be able to see this redstone down here then simply place your two remaining redstone on those two blocks like that. Now the last thing that we've got to do is place our uh, 64 blocks of choice. Now this is just going to be an edging just so the seeds slash flowers don't fly everywhere so I suggest that you make it too high. Now it might flicker once but or twice uh, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just telling it that there's an update and then it will just reset back to its uh, normal position. So you should end up with something like this at the end. So we're going to give it a little test run just to make sure that it works. So simply get your bone mill, right click on the furthest right you can of this block or the left and then simply There we go, it's working. Now one thing that might happen when you're in survival is that you might hit this grass block under there which then will consume up one of your bone meal so to avoid that just change the block under the piston here to a plank of some sort and then replace your grass block back in there. So there we go guys that is the flower slash seed generator if you enjoyed this tutorial today and you learned something from it remember to leave a like because it really helps me out if you have any ideas for redstone tutorials let me know in the comments uh, 1.7 came out so I'm going to be experimenting a lot but still even if you have I if even if you have ideas uh, let me know in the comments um, and I will see you guys later bye bye